Welcome everyone, welcome in our main trading room here and of course our YouTube followers appreciate the fact that you're following please don't forget to hit that like button for us if you joined you can notice that the S&P starts down 0.4% Nasdaq is down 0.5 we are coming down some stocks which are relatively weak are Tesla down 1.5% we had a nice short trade in Tesla yesterday and I'm going to short it if it comes under 115.970 which is quite close lowering my size may not have the time to post it Tesla short under 15970 it's getting close it's relatively weak it's about to trigger I believe watching the buyers buyers are still holding above the 70 mark also watching uh, FRC we've got UPS2 on the short UPS traders but it just triggered if I'm going to get the chance to show now on UPS under closer to 182 I'll do it what's UPS Tesla did not trigger but UPS I want to short it but I think it just ran away watch 293 here for my entry on McDonald's I'm coming in right here 292.99 I am long McDonald's MCD long market's initial move is up look at the way Baba. Baba for a long oh really I'm going to short it under 85 Yogi <laughs> I will go long later. I was Good about luck. to short it. I was about to post it, you know. Watch Baba. I think this pullback. The daily chart is extended, I think. 85.20. About to short Baba under 85. Again, the market is moving up, but it's way too early to establish market direction right now. I do like Tesla much more now after it moved up. Baba may trigger soon Baba triggered I'm short now I'm going to short Tesla under 160 it's close well I'm posting Baba if it will move above 8520 I will go long posted Tesla and I'm short Tesla Spotify for long. long could be interesting over 144 I'm going to post spot in case it decides to move higher we have to remember the market started with a gap down today quite a big one I do not expect it to move up and close the gap it's more likely that we will come down 291 on McDonald's will be my stop loss 291 I'm having trouble with Baba here but I'll wait a bit yeah. NVDA long 271.50 271.50 may not have time to post it here I am long uh, NVDA long 271.50 okay two trades right now McDonald's may be a stop loss here Watch Spotify in case it tries to move higher again. Tesla's doing well. And I will stop Baba if it moves over 85.50. I think to add above 85.50. Because Tesla then I is think approaching the my target I'm getting ready for a partial wow, good Tesla. new lows more than a point here in Tesla 
Now, took my partial in Tesla. Baba pulled up. I'm not, I don't like what Baba did, but it should give it some space. So the fact that it moved up doesn't mean too much. And it is weak today. It's down 2%. And I'm also watching PDD, which is at the lows. Should have shorted this one. Did not. Didn't really see it triggering. Apple is strong today. Holding up. Google just moved to a new high. Amazon is looking weak. Take a look at Amazon. I am out of the McDonald's trade with a loss. I'm starting the day with a losing trade on I'm going McDonald's to short MCD. Amazon under 10490. I'm about to go long Nvidia. 270. I'm long Nvidia. That was fast. Oh, nice. Nvidia Baba is uh, red. Moving against me. Oh, Baba. McDonald's getting sold off here. Amazon take for another McDonald's trade. Short. 291 to the upside here. New low in Tesla looking Still good. The market's Baba. looking for direction. Market's kind of stuck looking for direction. We did move up first five minute candle. And now we're kind of going sideways. Tesla just moved to a new low looking great. And Baba finally getting back to its senses. Yeah. Still holding Baba, I didn't add above 8550. Uh, so not a full share size, about all okay. it. Amazon Still is getting Nvidia, ready for a I'm long trigger McDonald's, long under 10490. Target 293. About to short Amazon if it triggers under 10490. I posted it in the trading room. It's getting close. Buyers 91, 90, 89, I'm in. I'm short Amazon. Based on the yeah, Nasdaq, we could off. come down. The Nasdaq just touched a new low. But Nasdaq doesn't count. What counts is the S&P and the S&P is still holding to the highs. But some stocks are relatively weak, still like Amazon, which is down 1.2%. And I hope it's going to continue its journey. And of course, uh, Tesla is down 1.9. Baba is down 2.2. But the market is moving to a new high. The S&P just moved to a new high. Which big now, big move on McDonald's MCD. Going for at least two points here to 293. Maybe a good trade. Still holding NVDA. Still holding Baba. Still long in VDA. Yogi, you're in NVDA long? Yeah, yeah. I took only 600 shares, but it's uh, more than one risk unit. I think I will right now. Uh, I'm closing NVDA. I'm still in the trade long. I'm, I'm long NVDA. I, I I'm long this. McDonald's. Only 600 shares in NVDA, but uh, it spiked me in and then drop in a few seconds and now Baba also moving against me again. Here, here we go on the McDonald's trade. MCD again anything over 293 I will come out of this trade. Got to get that bid up selling into the bid selling into this move bottom. S&P is holding to the highs. Down. Nailed it on the way up. Come, come on. on Baba new low. Come on Baba new low. Go. Let's on. go for it. Let's go for it. I'm still short some Tesla and okay. definitely not doing well, but I think Tesla is going to come down anyway. Later, I may be able to add. 20 cents to go. MCD, 20 cents to go. 16 cents to go. 15 cents to go. Come on, Baba. Baba got support go. at the lows, but now I think it's likely to come down. 84.60 is the lows. Come on, Baba. 
quickly turn my day green. Okay, new law in Baba. Okay, all is forgotten on the first trade now. Now we just got to have NVDA come and grab us here. Market's moving up. Tesla's following. Two points on the McDonald's trade here after losing on the way down. Did not increase my share size. Did not take anything less either. I'll have to stop Amazon soon. Definitely over the highs. Yeah, over the highs. 105.45. I'll stop it. And I'm still short some Tesla here. But I think the market should fail and Tesla will eventually come down. Baba new lows. Oh, Tesla. Let's go After Baba. Baba will break 50. Oh. We know Baba is extended. I'll wait for it to bounce and I'm still holding Baba. A bit more than one risk unit right now. I'm about to take my partial in Baba real soon. Now, oh. took my partial in Baba. And that's the point where I think the market should fail. Look at the topping tails. We've got some topping tails in the S&P. We've got some topping tails in the Nasdaq. I should get an opportunity to add to Tesla, possibly under 160. I'm posting Tesla for a short under 160. That's actually an adding point for me. And of course, I'm riding Amazon here, hoping that Amazon will eventually come down. With a stop I'm still the holding house. on to NVDA. Ahmad, you sure did. Yep. I got it I'm long, you got it short. Up. You're 100% right on this trip right here. I think if you're under 292.50, I will come out of McDonald's the rest of it. Apple looks like it's looking for a new high. This was taken off without me. And the Nasdaq is spiking over wow, the highs. I was wrong about this reversal point. Definitely not a reversal point. Not yet, anyway. We'll wait and see. Pepsi about ready to break out. We've got to take this trade. Trade is 180. 917 on Pepsi PEP. It's PEP on the breakout. There we go. Apple just touched the highs. Boeing's crashing. Why didn't I see that? Okay, I'm long and strong. 189.50, I will add. Come on, NVDA, you're crushing me here. Let's go. Again, my long entry NVDA, on Scott? NVDA 271.50 point off what's that you're long nvda i am long nvda i took it way up here 271.50 or so yeah you know it came down close the gap so the if down. the market is going to continue it seems like it does yeah. it was it was strong today so although it's trending lower it could easily move back to the highs especially if the market is going to move higher and it seems Microsoft. like the market does want to move higher sadly because I'm short Amazon and that's yeah. going to get me stopped in Amazon if the market does move higher Amazon is likely to Microsoft move to setting up in my opinion for a short even with earnings tonight I'm going to take it here MSFT softy on the short side here and it's going to be right at the break of 281.30 Netflix looks weak. Target's going to be 281. I'm going to add under 281 on Microsoft. How's the daily looks like? Yeah, my, uh, McDonald's still looking good. 200 shares left. McDonald's MCD. Kind of trending lower from the recent highs. Is this the turning point of the S&P? Don't 
definitely look like it could be. I think I just missed a few good trades here. I was too late responding to Netflix and now I feel a little bit, I feel like I don't want to take more risk in oh. Tesla. I don't. S &P. Oh, look at this market reversal. Look at the market reversal. I'm, I'm going to add to Tesla short here. Okay, you short Microsoft here. I'm adding now under this. Uh, I've added full share size now. Watch us melt down to this 280 area. That's going to be my target on MSFT. I just added to Nine. my Tesla hey, short. Look at the market breaks down. Look at the S&P. Wow. Oh. Out of all NVDA shares, NVDA losing trade. Amazon yeah, immediately trade, responded to that. Beautiful so new law in Amazon. And now Microsoft. come on Tesla. You should do the same. Microsoft looking good. There goes Amazon. Wow. wow. I didn't see this candle coming. Wow. Microsoft, Nvidia. Talked out from Baba, but uh, wow. What no, a trap. You should be used to this. <laughs> yeah, should be used to this. This is what we've had for the past couple of weeks. Big moves higher and then sharply lower like this. Here. Yeah. And this well, is where I'm going to come out of the Microsoft trade. I wish I would show something. Traders, it could have been expected. You know, it could have been expected. Of course, I couldn't have expected such a big red candle. But the fact is, when the market starts... <laughs> in i mean down like 0.5 percent it's normally going to be a gap and go so the fact that the market the s p moved up a little bit don't get over excited going long because normally that is not the direction to choose it's likely that the market at some point will reverse and move lower and wow definitely a big reversal a big big reversal here there's three quarters of the trade out on microsoft i had Full share size there after adding to this trade to the downside. So a nice winning trade here. I'm barely green. I'm green less than $100 right now on uh, the overall day. Wow. Should be a lot more. Look at Baba. As I'm about to cover, covering now some more yeah. Baba. Leaving just 100 shares. I do not have my partial in Amazon. Not yet. It did move down, but not enough. Well, it is trending lower, so I hope it's going to continue. I'm a little worried about Tesla now because Tesla should have responded to this very red candle in the S&P. So the question is why Tesla isn't coming down? And the answer, well, there's two options here. One, I've got it wrong. <laughs> it, will, it, will, it will move higher. I don't think so. Uh, the second is a delay and stocks are delayed. And here comes the move I was looking for in Tesla. So the nice thing about trading is that the S&P shows you the way. And then normally then, only then, stocks join. So if you're looking for a trade that did not respond to the market's move and relatively weak, like Tesla is relatively weak, then it is likely, and I'm not saying it's 100% it's going to do the same as I expected, as same as the market, I mean, crash down like, like the market, but... You look for a stock that is relatively weak, like Tesla is down 1.8%. The S&P is moving down. Therefore, you expect it at some point to catch up with the market. It's normally delayed. When there is a delay, that's your chance to gain. And here comes Amazon. Beautiful new low. Getting ready for partial. Market is had a big downside move, so I expect the S&P... To pull back up a little bit already started we have some bottoming tail here i do not want it to pull back up right now but realistically speaking when we are that extended to the downside you would expect some kind of a pullback at the lows and the s p is too extended to the downside right now a big red candle normally calls for a pullback but if i'm lucky we're going to see some continuation here and I'm thinking whether I should take my partial in Amazon because it just moved to a new low. So I'm waiting just a little bit more. 
I see a green candle in the S&P, small green candle. If I'll be lucky, Amazon will continue to move down. But you know what? I'm going to take my partial if it moves over 60, over 10460. I don't want to be there during a pullback and I do expect a big pullback in the S&P. So if Amazon decides to move over 10460, I'm watching the sellers. They're still under 10460, 452 something right now. And I do see some red candle, a possible red candle in the S&P. Not very likely, but we're still down. Not much of a pullback. So if I'm lucky, it's going to continue coming down, but I want to be on the safe side. So I'm going to take my partial in Amazon if it moves over 10460. Sellers at 60, 61, took my partial. Market. Took my partial in Amazon. It's not, I mean, I was expecting a better trade. I was expecting it to move farther, but I can't complain so far. Three green trades. I did add to Tesla, so this is a bit risky now. I'll wait and see. Yeah, really nice trading. How Tesla will respond. The market, again, is extremely extended to the downside. I'm still short small size in Baba, Amazon, and of course the added quantity in Tesla, which is in fact risking my gains because if Tesla will move higher from here, my Tesla gains are at risk. I will close Tesla if it moves over 161. Not with a spike, I'm waiting. Never move out on spikes, it just spiked up, but I am getting ready to close it down. Over 161, now the spike has cooled down a little bit. So I could close it if it moves over 161. Since it started to move up that way, I think, sadly, it is likely to move over 161. Well, I will have to close it. I'm going to post an NVDA trade here long. NVDA long 269. Yes, we do have a new law. S&P at a new law. Tesla will respond now should respond now and again remember tesla is relatively weak it's down 1.6 percent let's move to five minute candles which i normally do at around the 30 minute mark markets hitting new lows and tesla out of tesla i can't believe that I'm taking a, covering some more Amazon here. Well, my second trade in Tesla did not work out, traders. But, you know, I am done for the day. I want to stay green and I am done for the day. Here's my results today. As you can see here, I've got a winning trade in Amazon. I'm still riding. Wasn't much size. Tesla, my second trade left me with a profit of $43 where I was up, I don't know, 1700 something like that. I'm not sure. Baba turned out to be my best trade, still riding it. So with my open trades here, I believe I'm just at around three grand. Again, thank you very much for joining in today. If you are in YouTube, don't forget uh, to give us a like. I, as I normally do recently, I will upload all of this trading session to YouTube and I hope you like it because it's a new format for me and I wonder if you guys are interested in seeing more formats like this which means I do not edit my video you can see whatever I thought about whatever I did my thought process um, the whole I mean every click I clicked every button I touched and I think it's very educational and it should be helpful 
If you do like it or if you don't like it, please mention that in the YouTube. Um, I mean, just in the remarks below the video. So I will know if that's something I should uh, consider, uh, you know, doing more or not. And anyway, it's been a pleasure. So if you are in YouTube, please give us a like and help our channel. And don't forget to subscribe. There's a button right here for those of you in our live trading room here. Thank you very much for joining. Hope you enjoyed. I certainly did have a nice green day. Hope you did too. And I do travel tomorrow to Palma de Mallorca for the weekend. So you will only see me here, I guess, nice. next week. Thank you, everyone. Have a great time. And, and we'll see you next Monday, and, I guess. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Thanks. Bye.